her back won't fall. But another opportunity for the Scarlet Knights. Diamond jumps in for three of the freshmen. The first points of the game. Still looking for their first points of this game. Marshall will take her try, and we're tied at three. Giles again with this defensive assignment. They have so many defensive choices to try to put on her. Monica Sinano picking up where she left off in the second round game. Those are long rebounds. Your posts are in there. They can't get to those. So she said she was disturbed a little bit at the end when those threes were going up late in the game to begin this game. And with Mac Hawkiner. She's going to take it off the bounce. Those are her first points. Their one and done opportunity here for Rutgers and often running is Iowa. Looking towards Sonano. Johnson with the speed will take it in and it drops home. She's got a free throw coming up. Tallo, that hesitation. And they leave Marshall wide open for three. She drills it. They're certainly happy to have her back. She was actually a starter at the beginning of the year, and Diamond Johnson was the one coming off the bench. I mean to the players when the players always not only come back, but the players want to work for you. Absolutely. Giles from the corner just recently. Now that's a two. Just come out and test it out, test the waters in, in the game. You put in the time on your own. And that backdoor cut there for Iowa. So good at that as Warnock gets the two. Five buckets to seven turnovers. That's not the ratio you want. And trailing by 11, now trailing by 14. Marshall is getting comfy cozy in that corner. Marshall grabs it. Marshall will take it. Why not? Because you can do that. You can't give her any space here tonight. You cannot guard her if you want to. But she's going to drain them time and time again. Johnson for three. That's her first, or this is her second three-point make of the game. Just her second bucket. She was one of eight before that shot. You know, Iowa just saved all of its three-pointers for tonight. Marshall, could she do it again? Yes! Gabby Marshall! Marshall is not playing games with you today from range. Oh. And Garantes gets it to drop. An and one for Arella Garantes. Back over to Garantes for the corner. They're focused, that's for sure. What a clean look. And already you can feel just this positive emotional momentum that Rutgers is dealing with, but they got to try to stop that. No double team coming her way. She wasn't having her space crowded. she got to stay loose and get to one side or the other. And Garantes gets the on one. Clark with no three-point makes here so far. She's 0 for 3 before this shot, and that's her first one, knocks it down. I'm telling you, she leads the country in scoring for a reason. She is aggressive and confident with her skill set, knows what to do. There's an assist for Garantes finding Singleton. And then Rutgers, one of the most staunch defensive teams in the country. Another three-point make. She was over in the first half. Tonight, I mean, it's what Lisa Bleeder and her coaching staff have been known for. Marshall's first three-point attempt. She has a new career high. Just keep trying to attack that zone from the high post area, right at the nail, right in the middle. Look out, Johnson so quick. And the steal takes for two. Double-digit steal numbers in 12 of their 17 games this season. Taking the contact, and Clark finishes. Taking it inside. She shot more two-point shots than three-point shots here tonight. Sal's passing up the three that time and will take it high off the glass for two. She had Monica Sinano on her. Didn't want to settle for the jumper. And Monica Sinano's going to win that battle against Diamond Johnson every time in the poke. Quick hands for Mac. And Kate Martin is right there with her. And forces a tough shot, and it's Johnson with the cleanup shot to clean it up. Six and a half to play. Warren with a wide open look. It's almost like if you got a hand in her face, she looks at that as an immediate challenge. She loves challenges. What a pass there from Garantes, and Mack gets the finish, and Mack is calling for the full court pressure. Mark with the 19 points and 10 assists, make it 21 points. Trying to seal the deal. And 
against a team like Rutgers, they only give up 56 points, so we're well over that. Thank you.